Welcome back to News 46. Saturday night, kids, teens, and adults had a blast trick-or-treating and attending parties throughout our town. The Ghost and Goblins were out Saturday night trick-or-treating around town. As in rural areas, it's very difficult to trick-or-treat from house to house, and some of the most popular areas tend to be the winery, Mountain Falls, and Artesia for door-to-door trick-or-treating. However, this year, those residential areas didn't get as much foot traffic as in previous years, and it appears to be because of the many trunk-or-treating events that they had throughout town, including the Bob Rood Spooktacular, the Petrick Park Trunk or Tree. Prompt Valley Auto Plaza held their event on Friday night. Lakeside RV Park had door-to-door trick-or-treating. They decided not to have their annual event that they have at the Nugget in the event center and decided to just concentrate on Lakeside. Glenn Lerner had trunk or treating in their parking lot. The Moose Lodge, as well as Draft Picks, also had trunk or treating events. Blackjack Fireworks and Phantom Fireworks also had their parking lots full of trick or treaters. This Halloween night was a safe night. There was no incidents reported at all related to trick or treating. And the 21 and over crowd also had fun on Saturday night at various establishments all over town, including the Bounty Hunter on 2nd and East Street, who had a Halloween bash and costume contest, whose dunes also had a party and the hub, as well as Irene's Casino and Patty's Pub. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza held their Trunk or Treat event Friday night. Lots of people showing up. It's been a lot of fun so far, and there's still a, lo- a line outside that's pretty long, so uh, a lot of help from a lot of people. Uh, gosh, I'd like to mention the Elks Lodge, the Lions Club, the Rotary Club, uh, Law Offices of Louis Minicosi, uh, Law uh, Attorney uh, Carl Jorger, Diamond Mental Health, Nye County Coalition, uh, the high school clubs uh, have done a really great job. So a lot of fun. This is the second year we've done this. This place is packed with lots of games and lots of uh, candy and just things to do for a wonderful safe night. Yeah, you know, and if the weather's bad, uh, you know, it's inside. So very cool. A lot of fun. Um, you guys got to join us next year if you, if you didn't join us this year. Definitely. Tell me about uh, like the haunted houses that we have back here. So there's uh, there's games. Uh, so kids come in through one side. There's games they can play. Uh, of course, everybody wins candy. Uh, but uh, you know, so some of the uh, high school clubs put some uh, booths together. Some of our sponsors put booths together. At the very end, there's a a, a, a big hay maze that's very dark and very scary if you dare to go through it. I might try that. Yeah, you might get scared. <laughs> it is very scary. For more information, I'm Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Uh, visit, us, visit us at pahrumpcars.com. Shoshone Days and Beatty Days were held over the weekend. Both kicked off Friday with lots of fun and entertainment. News 46 shows you a bit of the Beatty Days celebration. Beatty Days was held over this weekend. They featured a parade Saturday morning. KPVM-TV also joined in the parade, as well as having a booth at their fairgrounds. We had the Joker and Poison Ivy join us, being Noah Began and Darby O'Donnell. Beatty Days had live music and entertainment, a chili cook-off, Dutch oven cook-off, a classic car show, bike show, poker walk, Old West shootouts, Tombstone 5K and 2K, bed races, vendors, chicken drop bingo, antique engine displays, raffles, and much more. Beatty Days was held at Cottonwood Park in Beatty, Nevada. For more information on Beatty Days, you can find them on the web. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Let's join Courtney Salmon with Weekend Sports. Weekend Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction.
Big congratulations to the Prump Valley High School boys cross country team. They qualified for the state championship meet for the first time since the school has changed to Division 1A this weekend, finishing third place as a team at the regional meet in Boulder City. Taking first place as an individual was Chase Wood of Faith Lutheran with a time of 16 minutes and 51 seconds. Prump's Bryce Odegaard finished in second place with a time of 17 minutes and 49 seconds. Le'Ron Sonohome of Pahrump finished in sixth place with a time of 18 minutes and 18 seconds. As a team, Clark took first place and Faith Lutheran finished in second. The girls' cross country team did not qualify any individuals and finished in eighth place. The state championship meet is this Saturday at Rancho San Rafael Regional Park in Reno. The PVHS volleyball team has their sights set on the playoffs this week. They head to Virgin Valley tomorrow for the first round of the playoffs. Good luck, ladies. For those of you who have been following local sports have noticed there's a lot of talk about Faith Lutheran in pretty much every sport dominating the majority of them. Well, this will be the last year the Trojans have to compete against the private school because we will be moving to the Division I League next year. The Kansas City Royals beat the New York Mets in five games to win the World Series. Last night, the Royals won 7-2 to win the series four games to one. This is the first Royals World Series win in 30 years. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46. Thanks so much, Courtney. Ohio residents are going to vote on marijuana legalization tomorrow, but it's very different from the pot votes in other states. This is the first time that voters will decide whether to approve recreational and medical marijuana at the same time without approving medical first and voting on recreational later. We'll let you know about that vote tomorrow. When we return, we'll have Noah Beacon here with your weather.